So you've raised your BP, you've grinded your weapons, but you're still not doing enough damage. Well, have you tried doing food buffs? Hi, I'm John and I'm a Dijan, and today I'm going to teach you how to use PSO2's food buff system. So what's a food buff? A food buff is a system unique to PSO2 and GS where you use different ingredients in order to give you a certain stat boost. These stat boosts will depend on what materials you use and depending on the amount that you use. They last for 2 hours, no matter how many ingredients you have used. So if you're just doing this for the daily, just put one ingredient and it'll still last the same. If the ingredients affect what food buffs give me, then how can I figure out what to use? Well, there are different classifications for it. For me, I would separate it into two types. The type of food and the texture of the food. For the food types, there's meat, vegetables, seafood, and fruits. For the textures, there's rich, robust, light and crisp. Well, I know what the classifications are now, but how do they scale? For the type of food, meat scales with potency, vegetables provide damage resistance, seafood gives HP, and fruits give PP. Meanwhile, for the different textures, rich food give minus PP consumption, robust food gives HP recovery, light food gives PP recovery, and finally, crisp food provide additional weak point damage. In addition, Premium also has additional effects. These effects are for tri-boost purposes, and they're not affected by any modifiers from other food ingredients. So now you know how they scale, here are some few tips in building recipes. Number 1. Don't focus on just putting one type of food. They have diminishing returns, meaning if you put too much of it, it doesn't really provide much. Unless you're heavily min-maxing on that stat, then I would suggest you go do it, but most of the time, I would rather keep a balance. Second is don't go overboard on your food selection. As it stands now, vegetables, seafoods, and fruits are kind of a limited commodity because of the respawn timers. So try to save them up and use them only when you're dread hunting or doing UQ. Last but not least, simplicity is good, especially when you're just doing day-to-day -day activities such as grinding, doing your dailies, or just going around and killing things without any plan. As a bit of help, here I will provide you some simple recipes that you can use from time to time. First of all, here are some PP heavy recipes. 4 rich meat, 6 light fruit, or 6 rich meat and 4 light fruit. These will provide you the following stats, adjust it to how you want it. Next here are some damage heavy food recipes. 6 crisp meat and then finish it off with either 4 rich meat or 4 light meat. They will provide you these stats and it's up to you if you would value PP consumption or PP recovery. And here's one recipe for your meme lords out here. Here's a full tank recipe. You need 4 robust seafood and 6 robust vegetables. It'll give you a huge amount of HP and damage resistance. But I doubt aside from meme use, it's not that useful. As for the more balanced recipes, I would suggest for you to figure them out and share them down in the comments below. These would help other people and I will try my best as well to go and help out. And with that, that concludes our short introduction to food buffs. There might be more options for this in the future and by then I will also upgrade this guide. Thanks for watching, my name is John and I'm a DGen. see you later.